It kind of has like a little bit of like a goopy stuff. It's like the the padding, I guess, of the un the linoleum. Um, it's working to get part of that off. It doesn't work the best, but it's better than sitting there with a little chisel. So I'm using this thing. channel if you are new here my name is Emily today I'm going to be sharing with you the rest of their floor project we are redoing our kitchen floors here in this house and if you haven't seen the last video that was us demoing the floor and we ended up finding a few different surprises in there underneath our tile and our hardy back was actually four layers of old vinyl flooring it was absolutely ridiculous so it took us two days to fully rip out everything and now we are going to be installing the Ditra, and then we're going to be tiling over that. If you've never heard of Ditra, it is really nice. It's an easier solution than using Hardy Backer because you don't need any saws or anything. You can simply cut it with an Exacto knife. We got ours off of Amazon. It was a great price. We got 323 square feet, and I'll have that link down below if you are interested in that, but you can also pick it up at your local um, Lowe's and Home Depot and other various spots, but Amazon was the best deal. Um, I'm gonna show you how we laid it out. We basically dry fitted the whole entire area last night. It took us about an hour and a half to do a little over 300 square feet, getting all the nooks and crannies, so let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. Here is the dry fit of all of the Ditra. Super easy to work with, as I just said, and we are going to be applying a mortar underneath it, and I'll show you that whole entire process along with installing the tile as well as we go through this process. And I did cut out all of the floor vents for the AC unit. All the tools that we'll be using today, and I have, basically you just need a type of drill that you can hook up, um, basically kind of like a mixer too, it's basically just a big paddle. Then we have um, a Palmer modified um, mortar that we're gonna be using. This was actually cheaper at the specialty store than it was, and it's better than the stuff you can buy at some of the other places. A couple buckets, a 5 16th V-notch trowel, and then we have a float as well. So we're gonna be mixing this up right here, then using the um, 
the um, trowel to glaze it on and then we'll roll this down and then we will take our float and press it down in there. All right, we have our mortar mix, and I forgot to mention that we are using a sponge and a pot of water. It doesn't have to be anything, you just want it damp. And we are going to be spreading this on the floor. It just helps the Dietra and the mortar. have enough to do the hair and bones so we are gonna stick with this way I think I, I don't even know if I'm coming down you wrap my bow when you hold me so tight the world just disappears in front of my eyes I'm telling you why this ain't no madness the smoke in the mirrors our memories now the sun's gone down like a river
lose control. We like to burn out fast. In the store, and we picked up these. We had um, 12 foot boards cut down to 81 inches for the um, for the molding around the doors, and then those are all the baseboards. It's the same type of boards, but these ones have to be cut um, at a 45 degree angle. So we're gonna get started doing that. Hot like that. later all the baseboards are now cut. I am hot and sweaty and annoyed. I hate doing baseboards because you have to do that 45 degree angle at back and forth <sighs> over this. But look all dry fitted right now and then we are having a tantrum at the same time. Um, we're, we started painting these ones but the paint ran out so now we have to go back to the store and get more paint. He feels exactly how I feel. I just want to go cry in my bedroom and be done with this stupid project. We still have to nail them all to the wall. Thank goodness I have the nail gun. But then I have to patch all the holes and then paint them. And, oh, over this. True reality of DIY, I tell you. I'm exhausted. Are you alright? That's how I feel too. I want to say thank you for everybody that commented on the last vlog of ripping out all the flooring. You guys were so sweet and just encouraging and I didn't realize how many of you are experiencing the same issues we had with this kitchen. I feel so bad for all of you that are experiencing and I'm so sorry. So, do you see all of this? Oh, I'm so done with all of this. I'm ready for all of this to go back in its original spot. Alrighty, the kids are in bed now and I can't use the nail gun anymore, so we are done for the day. Um, I cannot believe that this kitchen is almost done. It is just crazy to me. It's come such a long way. We still have a little bit of more work to do, but I think this is a long enough vlog as it is. So I hope that you guys enjoyed coming with me. And if you are in the process of renovating your home, hang in there. It'll, there is an end. There are those ups and those downs. Uh, we've had them this trip and 
Um, you know, I'm really just trying to be real and authentic with this whole process with you guys, letting you know what is happening. And a lot of you are so appreciative of that. And a lot of you are going through the same thing that I am with the flooring, discovering things that you just were like, what on earth is going on? So I am sorry for you guys, um, but hang in there. It will get better. Um, and yeah, I just, I hope that you guys, that this will inspire you to tackle some area of your home, even though there are those ups and downs. It's so much, it's just a satisfaction that you get from redoing your house yourself. There's just a sense of pride from it and everything, and I love that. So I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.